HBCU students are celebrating black excellence at Kamala Harris House, the Vice President of America. This event means to me, it's put everything into perspective. It shows me everything is possible. My vice president is black. What you mean I can't do it? These students have no idea they're culturally appropriating somebody. California's Kamala Harris is the first Indian American U.S. Senator. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> she's too smart for you. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Then Kamala Harris lose after this debate and suddenly she was chosen as a vice president because she's black. That was locking black people for marijuana, but she was smoking marijuana. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I, and I inhale. I didn't, I did inhale. <laughs> I look out at this group of leaders, I know that the future of our country is bright. Our nation needs you, and I look forward to your continuing leadership. Welcome to the house party at VP. Being here at Vice President Harris's home tonight was an absolute honor. The embodiment of black excellence in the room was overwhelming, and I'm just so honored. Coming to an event like this is just gratifying. I mean, when you really choose God and put it first in all that you do. With all due respect, God doesn't listen to degenerate music. Yes, being a lesbian is a sin. Okay, Roman, Roman says this. Roman says a woman. Well, Roman, you need to repent. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry Listen up, you silly liberal fruitcakes. I came out here and wanted to tell some jokes. Let's do some reality checks here. Do you have any idea, sir, how pathetic it must be to be you? These people wanted to come out and have a good time, hear a few jokes, some thoughtful discussion, but your head pops off the pillow in the morning with, oh, how can I be a professional victim today? Let me go in and screw with their act just because, oh my God, your parents didn't tell you that your opinion wasn't worth that much. <laughs> But I do find it rather weird that you go to a comedy show and you're surprised that people are making comedy. And I'm surprised that you go to a university when people need to be able to talk to reach a middle ground, but then suddenly you decide what is the middle ground. Should minors be allowed to transition? Minors should be allowed to do what their parents allow them to do. They don't do it while they're under your roof, they're going to do it later. But there are instances where people detransition. How can we protect trans youth that do regret their decision and want to detransition? You make your decisions and then you decide to make another decision. That's just life. No, 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 deal. no, 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 yeah. no, hell no, hell no. I'm not saying that he's not empathetic, but I don't think it's empathetic when somebody took a specific medicine because you told them they're young enough to understand what they're doing and suddenly they have liver cancer and you're like, well, just make a new decision. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it has been documented. Certain people have taken too much testosterone to change their body and suddenly they had liver cancer. Why was it necessary for you to say Serena couldn't beat the 700th player? You, uh, I mean, sir. She's the greatest female player that ever lived. Then the lady said to me, why did you say woman? Why don't you just say the greatest tennis player that ever lived? And so then I felt the need, I don't know, just say what I really felt, which is about what I think she would be. I think you're referring to the fact that I said she'd be about 700 in the world. Yeah, right. I'm yeah. just waiting. Would wait. you like to apologize? Uh, no, because it seems in tennis, unlike other sports that they're always asking about, why don't you combine, just solve the problem? I'm sure the men would be all for this. The men and women play together and then we don't have to get <laughs> Got him. Actually, it's funny because Andy Murray, he oh, he was been joking about um, myself and him playing a match. And I'm like, Andy, seriously, like, are you kidding me? Because for me, tennis and men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. So I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0, 6-0 in 
five to six minutes, maybe ten minutes, because if, no, no, it's are, true. It's honestly, true. It's a completely, really? it's a completely different sport. The men are a lot faster, and me and um, they they get they serve harder, they hit harder. It's just a different game, mm -hmm. and I love to play women's tennis, and I I only want to play girls because I don't want to be embarrassed. I would not do the tour. I wouldn't do Billie Jean any justice. So Andy, stop it. Yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna let you kill me. She has a point. Yes. Donald Trump said on this video that he likes kissing pretty women and that you don't Sir, let me can I finish you like me? kissing ugly women? Excuse me. Can I finish my statement, please? Thank you. I don't appreciate that either Gotcha Have you ever have you ever washed that mask? Yes. That's good because bacteria grows on it and it can cause a lung infection. Yeah. Did you know that? Okay, good. I just want you to stay safe while you're wearing that mask that infects your breathing. Do you know why surgeons wear a mask? To keep from skin That's right. It doesn't stop anything from coming in. COVID can get all in your mask right now. Do you know that? Okay, so why do you wear it? To protect me from what? Are you sick? Are you sick? Okay, then you don't. Then you're fine. That just makes no fucking sense. In all honesty, I'm guilty. I don't wash them, and I keep wearing the same thing over and over. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> What are your pronouns? Uh, either she, her, or they, them. What does they, them mean? Uh, pretty much it's when I'm feeling more uh, not gender confined, like pretty much no gender. I choose to go by they, them. So you don't feel like a gender sometimes? Pretty much. Like, I'm still questioning what my gender is. Like, so how does that process work? Um, pretty much just I'm playing around with different gender identities, different pronouns, so I figure out exactly which one. So some days you feel like a what, and some days you feel like a what? Some days I feel she, her, other days, like today, I'm feeling more no gender. Wow. Ma'am, or sir, I'm not sure, I didn't misgender you, did I? Oh, please, go fuck yourself. Oh, that's not very ladylike. Oh, oh, now you're fucking misgendering me, ladylike. Oh, well, uh, what are you exactly? None of your fucking business. What are you? But you said I misgendered you. If I don't know what you are, how can I not misgender you? What are you? I just say you. <laughs> hey, you. With the black hair. <laughs> I don't play the game because it's confusing. And I don't want them to attack me because I don't want them to feel bad that they might be confusing to themselves. Yad, I use he him pronouns, and I am Bangladeshi American. I am Bangladeshi American. Yeah, I just rolled my eyes. I'm glad the cameras caught it, because yeah. I was like, you know, it's just a natural reaction. Um, and you know, there's a lot of people who said, that was rude, you shouldn't have done that, or you acted triggered. It's like, no, I didn't like yell at him or whatever. But the truth is, the pronoun stuff is ridiculous, and I think ridiculous things need to be ridiculed, right? Where is a systemic issue? Where is a, a law that's in the system, or is a policy that's in the system of systemic racism in our country. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. There are, I think they said, the silent majority, their Trump supporters kind of doing a protest or something, and you just shouted something. Can you repeat what you're I, saying? I told them to keep America Of course, I don't believe that. But I think that's what they believe. So... We need to call them out on it every single time. Absolutely. What makes you think that just those people over there would support that? Well, they support the president. The president's okay. I mean, it's kind of those logical, you know, problems so that you do So something that I see a lot of people, a lot of Trump supporters ask is, where is the proof that he is Do you want to set that to bed and give us the proof? Um, I would say every other tweet would be proof right there. Um, when he talks about African Americans, when he only calls out African American athletes, you know, for whatever malfeasance he sees. Um, I still remember when I asked a friend, why don't you like Donald Trump? And she told me, because I don't. You have testified as to a lot of your own research. So I'm curious for what purpose you do that and what background you have to qualify you to speak to that. Well, my background that qualifies me to speak to this is that I'm a human being with a brain and common sense and I have a soul and so therefore I think it's a really bad idea to chemically castrate children that is my experience strike two it's rich doesn't mean someone gets poor yes it does explain in this me. society it does explain that to me when and you bought when you bought your hat who got poor um the people who made the hat what, they voluntarily contributed their labor no, and not. they got paid for it no they did not they didn't there's workers in other countries who are enslaved to make things that I'm wearing right now then why would you buy it way. 
because there's no other options in our capitalist country. There are no other options in our capitalist that's, that's, country. That's totally and factually incorrect. Make your own clothes. There aren't very many options for that. Well, so what you're trying to say is you outsource your goods and services in a capital voluntary because you don't you, you don't want to spend okay. the time you, to go make your own clothes. Uh, basing an entire economic system on capital, on wealth, is not the best for each person in the world. So you would want to live in a communal society, essentially, right? So why don't you go live like the Amish right now and go do it because they live in a communal society? That's not, that's not the point. <laughs> that's the dumbest thing you could have said! The moment you said that's not the point, then I'm like, uh, you kind of lost the debate anyway. You can advocate for something that you want people to do and you keep telling me, I didn't have the choice so I just replicated the enemy. Do you think it's fine to say to religious people that they are prohibited from gathering outside, wearing a mask, socially distanced? They can't do it. But if you want to come and protest, defund the police, if you want to support that, that's fine. You can gather in mass, person to person, close up thousands of people. That's okay. That discrimination is okay. That's your position. Senator, that is not my position. I did it not was your position. It's what you argued. I did not write these words, um, what I said. You defended it in court. And you, I, just, you just articulated to me what I take to be your position. Why were the restrictions that you defended struck down as discriminatory? Why were they? You know the facts, you're a good lawyer. Why'd you lose? Senator. Oh, come on, Judge, don't make me do this. Do you want me to go through it for you? You lost because Mayor Bowser was going to mass protests herself, personally, with thousands of people. At the same time she was doing that, she was prohibiting churches, religious people, from gathering socially distanced outside wearing masks. Hey, he got cooked. Adrian, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. This actually hit kind of personal as a religious person myself, and I enjoy seeing people getting cooked. This book here is called It's Perfectly Normal for Students 10 and Up. This book details all kinds of images, pictures of elderly people, nude, pictures of an individual who's in a wheelchair with his is out. All of these sexual graphic images are made available and placed at the fingertips of children. This is immoral and asinine to allow children to be able to see this. Also, this book even shows images of two women having sex, a man and a woman having sex, and two men having sex. That's not perfectly normal. Who decides what's normal? Is it you? Is it you? Or do parents decide what should be placed at the fingertips and allowed to be taught to their children in the school system? I'll read some of this for you. It says, after a bit, a person's vagina becomes moist and slippery, and the chorus becomes hard. After a bit, a person's is, is, becomes stiff and larger. Sometimes a bit of clear Pastor. fluid that may contain a few sperm comes out of the tip of the penis and makes Pastor. it wet. Can we, sir, I'm sorry. Was it something I said? If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? It's called double standard. If I can get arrested on the street for reading the Bible because I might hurt certain people in some way or another, do you really think the same people would accept if they can read the same Bible at the school? Don't get me wrong. I go to get a bomb, put a fire in my blonde kush, hash purple skunk, Rio, Colombici, jam, jam, tour, look at the bird that I welcome.